All right, guys, so just before we even get into this one, your boy B uh, definitely recorded this whole video and didn't even have his uh, external mic on. So this is probably going to look like one of those really old Chinese movies while they try to convert it to English, but I'm going to do my best with it. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is La Flame, since that was the most commented name on this video. And you guys already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and hop into this week's sneaker rotation. All right, so first up we have the Hair Jordan 7. Now this is definitely one of my, I would say, favorites of this year, definitely of 2015. Um, just be from the quality standpoint, um, they definitely held it together. Um, as well as just comparative to some of the other 7s and how they bring it back. Uh, the French Blue 7s weren't, weren't that great. I bought my French Blue 7s, put them on for the video, and then I just decided that they really weren't worth 200 I took those back. The Bordeaux from this year was closer to the OG, but I still like the 11 version better than that. So the Hair 7 was probably the best 7 in my opinion to come out this year as far as quality goes and just how it was constructed. Anyways, that was Monday. Let's go ahead and hop into Tuesday. Okay, so for Tuesday, we went with the Reebok and Kendrick Lamar ventilator. Um, you guys already know how I feel about this shoe. Once again, the quality is on point. I think it's called a pigskin suede that's on this thing. Um, the concept as well. Um, just the idea of bringing people together, bringing different communities together. Of course, that's something that Kendrick kind of preaches. Um, I don't want to say preaches because maybe that sounds bad, but what he, I guess, says, teaches, preaches, whatever, um, throughout a lot of his art, which is music, of course. Um, but like I was saying, man, this is a clean, clean, clean shoe. Definitely am not um, disappointed in my pair. Everything was great. Um, and just another one of those great colorways of 2015, and I'm glad it's on a Reebok shoe. Anyways, let's get into Wednesday. Alright guys, so for Wednesday we had the Air Jordan 4 and of course the Cement colorway. <laughs> Um, this is definitely one of my favorite colorways of any Air Jordan 4. Probably is my favorite. You guys know one of my grills would be a 99 pair of cement 4s. Um, but, you know, if you guys have been living under a rock, you guys would probably have seen, I think for about a good week of this year, people were speculating that next year, um, towards January or February, we'd be getting a um, Cement 4 release with the 99, um, you know, Nike Air on the back. And then I've seen a picture recently where they had the Military Blue 4 with the Nike Air and the Brett 4 um, with the Nike Air on the back. So we don't really know. We'll see next year what happens. But that's Wednesday, so let's go ahead and hop right into Thursday. Okay, so for Thursday, we have the Nike Free Hyperfill. And like I was telling you guys, this thing is basically a fly knit sock with a really, really thin sock liner, or not a sock liner, but a really, really thin um, outsole. There really isn't a midsole to this shoe. It's basically just your Lunar Loam um, insole, that which I had, you know, talked about in my previous pickup video. Um, but this is definitely a shoe that I was surprised to see that was in Nike clearance. Um, I think I paid uh, 60 for them, or I had to pay my dad back. I think it was like 60 or 70 for them. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but one of the most comfortable shoes I have that Lunar Loan insole really keeps this shoe together. Um, and I mean, I'm satisfied with, my, satisfied with my purchase. And like I said, it fits like a sock. So it's kind of tight on my foot because I have a wide foot. So if you have a more narrow foot, it might look a little bit better on yours. That was Thursday. So let's go ahead and hop into Friday. Okay, so for Friday, we actually have the Air Jordan 3 Lab 5. Now, this is, of course, a black elephant and infrared pair, um, which I think is definitely, definitely, definitely way, 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 way better than the gray cement uh, colorway. It's just, it's more of a muted colorway, and I think it just looks better than that gray and black elephant print all over. And all black, that elephant print is just a cleaner look on the shoe. And this shoe has probably survived. You guys know I'll start selling shoes. I've almost sold these shoes at least five to six times. Um, but every time I look at them, I bring them back out. They're, they're just, it's just a clean looking shoe. The colors are great. That infrared 23 color is crazy. So I've kept them. And actually, we aren't going to have a Saturday for this one because all I wore on Saturday was more of a chill day for me. And I wore my Banassi slide. So you guys don't want to see a, a Banassi, Nike Banassi slide on feet. So let's go ahead and hop right into Sunday. 
Okay, so for Sunday, of course, you guys know I try to get a pair of Saucony. So for Saucony Sunday, I went with the West NYC in Saucony. This is the, uh, I think it's the Shadow 5000, yeah, Tequila Sunrise. And I actually purchased this pair from JWD or JW Danklifts. He's actually a shoe customizer who I was introduced to kind of internet friends, I guess you could say, um, through another guy named JDBs. Um, so shout out to both of them. I actually got this shoe a few days after it released for a really good price comparative to what they were going for. Um, of course, like I was saying, the theme of the shoe is Tequila Sunrise. It even has the worm, um, the worm insole on these things, and I really like that orange gradient on the side of the shoe. Just a really clean shoe um, in general. So anyways, guys, that is about it. And I know this part of the video is muted, so please, like I was saying, don't mind the Chinese looking like old movie to English. Um, translation looking thing going on but I also want to let you guys know that some people were asking me to do a review on what a time to be alive and I actually was listening to that um, tape I guess you could call it mixtape because not really it don't sound like an album to me uh, mixtape while I was making all this video so I'll leave a comment down below if I get a hundred thumbs up on that I'll do that review and I also want to say I thank you guys for allowing me to do more personalized music reviews and branch out on my channel. Um, just because I like it to be an all-inclusive channel. I like music, I like shoes, I like clothes, I like this, I like that. Um, so I like to bring as much personality to the channel as possible. And when I can talk about music or talk about this or talk on this issue, it really allows me to be more personal with you guys and let you guys know who I am other than a guy who likes shoes and clothes. But anyways, y'all be easy. Much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Snumps, Twitter, here, there, Blase, Blah, at Bold RC. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for living through this uh, weird video. Peace.